Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. In this video, I am privileged to get to open my prize from the Great Nomad Race. Uh, some of you may remember it. It was quite a long time ago, uh, several months. We had a community event on No Man's Sky called the Great Nomad Race, and I won one of the races, and Andy Krysek was finally able to send me my prize for it. It was the... I'll, I'll pin the live stream of the race in a pinned comment of this video so that you can watch that race if you missed it. Um, there were actually two races. The first race was built by the Amino Hub and I got second place in that race and then the second race was built by NMS Cafe and I won that race first place. So Andy Krysek is a guy, that's his name on Twitter and on Reddit I believe, he sent out these prizes. Uh, which I'll be opening in a minute. Um, he It took him a long time and he kept apologizing to me on Twitter that mine um, was the very last one that he sent. That's, that's why this is so many months after the race happened. But I, I wasn't mad. I, I was just glad that he was going to send me a prize. I wasn't even expecting a prize. Um, and I'm really glad that it finally came so that I could open this. So I want to show you, as you can see, I blacked out most of my address except for Kansas and United States. It's backwards because of the weird way PlayStation camera is. There's no way for me to uh, make it normal direction unless I <laughs> hold it in a mirror, which as some of you know, I did in a lot of my um, Waking Titan vlogs. But it, he, I didn't give him my real name, so he wrote Mac Four Day on it, and then I live in the United States in the state of Kansas. Now the really cool thing, I'll hold it up so you can see, is I wasn't aware of this, but apparently Andy Krysek is in the UK, because um, it says right here, you can't see it, because you can't tell really because it's backwards, but it cost him 485 pounds. So almost five pounds he paid to mail this to me. So that was really nice of him. Thank you so much, Andy, for paying so much to send me this prize. And I assume that is uh, Queen Elizabeth II in her younger days. So I can tell this is from the UK. And on the back, again, you can't, well, you can kind of read it, but it's, um, this is the, uh, customs declaration and it says small figurine or small figure so that gives you a bit of a hint as to what my prize is I kind of know what my prize is I I think I saw a picture of, on Twitter of somebody else opening theirs but I'm gonna very carefully I, I want to preserve this UK stamp thing um, I've never gotten a package from the UK, so this is pretty cool. As a guy who has lived in Kansas my entire life and has never really been out of the country, um, it's pretty cool to get a package from, from the UK. Okay, he said to be really careful because it's pretty fragile, but it's inside of a little container. Here we go. Oh wow, it's really small. Okay, so it's this little jar. Sorry, I'll hold it up closer so you can see. So it's this little bitty jar. And, oops, it's got a little packaging stuff. And here it is. So I'll hold it up. Hopefully it won't be too, oh man. It's so hard to go the right direction with this camera. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it is a tiny little um, Sentinel drone, which of course is a enemy in No Man's Sky. 
anyone who's played No Man's Sky will know Sentinel drones. They're the annoying space cops that are always shooting us for mining rocks. Um, wow, it is really detailed. Now this was 3D printed. Andy Krysek has a 3D printer and I don't know how a 3D printer works, but I don't know if he designed it or somebody else designed and he um, loaded it, loaded the data into his 3D printer and he printed it. And it's even got, I'm afraid to touch it, but it's got this tiny little antenna. You can see it on the video. I, I think that uh, Sentinels do have this tiny little antenna on it, so that's, that's amazingly detailed. You can't tell the detail very well. You kind of can, but it's got like almost, it's an almost exact replica of a Sentinel drone down to the smallest details. So it's extremely tiny, but it has all the details of a Sentinel drone as it is in the game. Of course, it's not painted, Andy Krysek said that it would not be painted. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna paint it. I'm not much of an artist, but there is an arts and crafts store near me, so I might, maybe I'll do that as a special video. Sometime I'll go get paints at the store and, and paint my little Sentinel drone, but I'm kind of afraid that I'll mess it up and make it look not as good as it looks now. I kind of like the Black Sentinel drone, so I'm not going to promise that I'm going to paint it, but uh, it is so super cool. Thank you so much, Andy Krysek. And this is basically my third piece of No Man's Sky memorabilia. I have the, I have the CD case for the, the game on PS4, and I have of course my Atlas level 4 pass that I got from the Waking Titan ARG. Um, and now I have a 3D printed replica of a Sentinel drone. So that is super cool. Thank you so much to Andy Krysek for sending me that. I want to make sure I put it in here the way it was so it doesn't get damaged. It came by airmail. It says it's by yeah, by airmail. So it got flown over here from the UK. Want to make sure it stays in mint condition. Um, and I'll put it back in the package for now. Um, but yeah, so this has been my unboxing of my Great Nomad race. You can check out that race. It's it's bef it's from before No Man's Sky Next, so it's before we had full multiplayer. So it's a race with orbs. So we had the orb multiplayer, and thankfully racing still worked with the orbs, so um, we were able to have races. And uh, you can watch watch the video of that race. And I finally got my prize um, from. Uh, winning that race. So once again, thank you Andy Krysek for sending this to me. This is one of the nicest gifts I've gotten in a long long time and That's about it. So I have been Mac Thank you for joining me for a day and remember everything is going to be okay